Hello, my name is Ramsey Cater, and today I'll be showing you how to initialize the Connect. Before we get started, you need Microsoft Visual Studios, XNA 4.0, and the Connect Beta SDK number 2. So let's get started. We're going to make a new Windows game. I'm going to name mine Initializing the Connect. Once your project has loaded up, we want to add the Microsoft.Research.Connect reference. You can find it in the .NET tab, and if you cannot, go to Browse, navigate to your C drive or your local disk drive, scroll down to Program Files, Microsoft SDKs, Connect, Beta 2, Assemblies, and get the Microsoft.Research.Connect.dll. Once you have this reference, add the following using statements using Microsoft.Research.Connect and using Microsoft.Research.Connect.NUI. Now we're going to make a new object runtime, and runtime will be our port to the Connect. Before we can initialize the runtime object, we have to come down to the initialize method and we have to make sure that there is actually a connect there for us to read. So we have the following if statement if runtime dot connects dot count is greater than zero, then we can initialize the connect. So connect is equal to runtime dot connects zero. So this gets us the information for the first attached connect. So in order for us to get specific information, we have to initialize the connect. So we're going to say connect that initialize, and we can choose from the color sensor, the depth sensor, the depth and the player index, or the skeletal tracking. So we're going to use the skeletal tracking, but let's say we wanted to add also the depth sensor. We will do space shift back slash to get this character. This character allows us to initialize multiple runtime options. So we can say runtime options dot depth and now we have initialized the skulls of tracking and the depth implementations. So in order for us to get the information from the depth sensor or from the skulls of tracking, we have to implement the following events. Connect dot depth frame ready skeleton frame ready or the video frame ready so we're going to use the depth frame ready plus equal tab and then when we hit tab it gives us this layout to implement events and we can name the, the event method anything we want I'm going to name mine depth frame ready and then you can hit the tab button and it, it will create the depth frame ready method for you and you can use this method to get information from the depth sensor. This is Ramsey Cater and this is how you initialize the connect piece.